This is the Applied Neuroscience Brain Surfer uh, program that is a add-on to NeuroGuide Deluxe. Uh, we have Brain Surfer 1, which is the current source density produced by uh, S. Loretta in 88 different Broadman areas, which serve as nodes of networks of different types. And we also have uh, Brain Surfer 2, which is S. Loretta coherence and S. Loretta phase. And in uh, July, uh, we expect to release Brain Surfer 3, which would be phase shift, phase lock, and graph, graph metrics of the networks. At this moment, I've activated the attention dorsal network of the Brahman area nodes. In order to view them, we'll make the brain more transparent. These are real-time z-scores that you can begin to see of the uh, nodes that comprise the dorsal attention network. We can make this more transparent. And this can be used for biofeedback in which the patient is instructed to make these sp spheres, which are Broadman areas, and z-scores in real time to the white state, which would be the state of maximum stability of the attention network. We'll bring the brain back. And next we'll look at the uh, coherence, S. Loretta coherence between nodes uh, that comprise the dorsal attention network. We've now activated them. I'm going to rotate it so you can see the uh, beginning, at least the attention network from the completely rendered brain before we make the brain more transparent and go into the network and evaluate the dorsal attention network. The brain can be zoomed in, zoomed out, rotated up and down. You can look at the brain from underneath or on top. And in this case, I'm going to make the attention network even uh, more visible by making the brain more transparent, in which one can then do biofeedback on this particular network by instructing patients to make the network white, which would be the state of maximum stability of the attention network. So this is Brain Surfer 2, which is the Coherence and phase delays between different parts of the uh, hubs and Broadman areas of the human brain in real time. And so as one records EEG, one can actually view one's own brain this way or the patient's brain in different networks.